you know, we had a bit of a change up of our judge and contestant due to their accounts having an issue, which they're trying to resolve. So there will be a little bit of a different lineup. We still made a show happen. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So I'll just start off the show. We'll kick it off now that you're all in here. So welcome to Borat's Chaos Kitchen. I'm your host, Chef Borat. Today's challenge is the tallest, most creative Valentine's Day themed creation. So the contestants are going to build Valentine's Day themed creations just on the cusp of the end of close to the end and still in the West Coast on Valentine's Day. So we're going to bring our lovely judge into the box. He's here today to replace Pichotta as our judge, Bruce Wayne. Welcome, Bruce, to the show. Hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Bruce, pleasure to have you in here. How you been? Thank you. Oh, I'm fantastic. Thanks for having me. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody in here. So if you could just introduce yourself for everyone who does not know who Bruce Wayne is on the app, could you give them a bit of a rundown of who you are? Yeah, uh, Bruce Wayne on the app. I have been here since December. Meet Me is now home for me. Um, I focus on mental health awareness stuff. Just a little bit. That's a little bit about me. I was a top badge over on another app. Happy to be here. Meet Me is now home. So thanks for having me. That's awesome. Bruce, we're going to have our lovely contestants in the show today. Like I said, we had a bit of a switch up of a lineup because of a few things that were happening, but we're going to welcome each contestant first. So I'm going to first welcome in Bones, who is replacing the cheese today on the show. I'm going to bring in a BB to the show as well. And I'm going to bring in Michelle My Bells. So these are our three amazing contestants for the show today. So let's welcome them in and see who they are. So Michelle, could you quickly tell everyone who you are on the app who does not know you? Well, um, I'm Ruth. Michelle Mardell is, you know, the other streamer. <clears throat> but you've asked me here today, so. <laughs> anyway, um, yes, so I come on basically once in a while. Um, basically, the last time I think I was on, it was for this show. So um, thank you for asking me to come back. You're welcome. And you're on the Valentine's Day show. I know you've had a bit of heartbreak with a couple of puppets on the app. So you're here to present your heartbreak, right? Oh, don't. <laughs> don't. <laughs> I'm ready to move on now. I'm ready to find love. Hey, Bruce. Let's, Hi, let's guys. Go. Let's go. So, Abibi, could you... Sorry, I don't, I don't do that. I don't do that. All right, Michelle, <laughs> I'm looking for a new man. I'm looking for a new man. We're going to jump to Abibi. Abibi, could you introduce yourself? But everyone does not know you. What are you doing on the app and what's happening with you? Can you introduce everyone yeah. in here? Let them know. Absolutely. Is it still frozen, y'all? Or not? can you hear me okay? We can oh, hear you. You're perfect. You're awesome. perfect. Awesome. Yeah, so thank you for having me, Laura. I appreciate it. I always love being on your show, but I do have a show that I am trying. Um, it's a, a BB Sports Live TV, so we talk about fun stuff, anything related to Super Bowl or whatever topic um, comes up, anything sports related. So I'm working on that. I'm excited. It's a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun. I'm excited to see where that goes. I mean, something different. It's something unique. I like it. So, yeah, that's that's a BB there. A BB's starting a sports show. How about that? That's going to be very interesting. And Bones, could you introduce yourself for everyone who does not know who you are? Hello, hello. I've been called in at last minute, but we're here. We're here to support Borat. Um, when I do stream, which is very rare, uh, you know, I uh, love to meet people from around the world, a lot about different cultures and the things they do. Um, yeah. So thanks for having me, Borat. Appreciate it. <clears throat> you're welcome. You're welcome. So let's quickly jump through each contestant's ingredients quickly so we can have a quick look. Each contestant will have 30 minutes to build their creations. They will only start their creations once my lovely squeaker squeaks. We've got a Lovasaurus squeaker for Valentine's Day. <laughs> we just had to pull out something funny. So this is the squeaker. When it squeaks and sounds like this, you will then build your creations. You can only use edible food items, no plastics, no metals, no wooden materials, only edible foods. So they're going to build the tallest, most creative Valentine's Day themed creations. So we're going to look at each contestant's ingredients first, Bruce. We're going to jump to them and check to see what they got. So Michelle Marbell, show us your ingredients. Let's have a look. Ruth, as in Ruth, is going to be here. Okay, so, Ruth, so, what you got? so I've got... Well, I've got things that are sweet. I've got some waffles. Um, I've got some pancakes because they're all sweet. I'm going to put stuff on top. Um, some cakes, some chocolate, some ice cream. What's a cornetto? Um, you know, I can't get my dress dirty. I can't go too crazy. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. So, um, you know, <laughs> I can't go too wild. <laughs> and then we've got some sugar. And maybe I'm going to have some chocolate. So, yeah, that's my stuff. There we go. 
Okay, okay Michelle, we like that. We like that. What have you, yeah, baby? What have you brought into the show? Just give us a rundown. Um, yeah, so I've got this thing called pastry bread. I've got chocolate heart cakes and I've got white cakes. Oh my god, so so good. Yo, little chocolate candies. Oh yeah, this is gonna be amazing. Oh, look at this little stuff. I've got some Cupid favorite sprinkles, huh? And I'm single. I'm ready to mingle. It's not too late if you want to be my valet. Hey, 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 hold on here, hold on here, hold on here. <laughs> I don't know what I'm making, but I'm making something. You feel me? Oh, you feel me feeling you? Like, you got to go to that talk show. Now. I don't know. They got some stuff here. I just got a lot of stuff. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm excited to be, but that's a lot of ingredients. Oh, you you lot of different ingredients. You I'm excited. excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. If what I about you both? I don't win. Look, I, I, I fear if that I I'm really win. lacking in the ingredient department here, <laughs> and my fellow contestants oh. are going to smash me. Um, so what we have, uh, we have a stack of bread mm -hmm. and some tomato sauce. Mm, he's going to two ingredients structure. That's going to be very interesting. Yeah. That's going to be yeah, very, very interesting. Very simple, very basic. But, uh, We'll get well done. Well done. All right. So if you just join into the show, welcome to Borat's Chaos Kitchen. I'm your chef, Borat. This is my judge, Bruce Wayne. These are my contestants, Ruth, as in Michelle Marbell, Abibi, and Bones. Please make sure you do hit them with an important favorite. All gifts are welcomed and appreciated during the show. Remember, the top gifter of the show does have a special power that can challenge the judge or save and protect one of these contestants. So stick around to find out to see what happens on the show. So contestants, can I get a thumbs up and a yes, chef, when you're ready to roll? <laughs> yes, chef. <laughs> a puppet's up and a yes, chef would be fine for you, Ruth. Yes, chef. That's a yes, chef. Let's rock and roll. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Gilbo's Creations. So happy Valentine's Day, everyone on the West Coast, because on the West Coast, you still got Valentine's Day and a belated happy Valentine's Day to everyone on the app. So as you know, the 14th of February is every year Valentine's Day. That's the day we are celebrating Valentine's and your Valentine on that special day. So, you know, that's the day everyone around the world universally celebrates Valentine's Day. Now, Bruce, did you have a Valentine this year or not? Uh, and intentionally no i i enjoy the bachelor single life hashtag and i'm uh i'm been this way for a while now after my divorce and yeah i'm living living the single life and it's 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 fun sometimes you know it's good to look after yourself self-care day like also consider this as a self-care day as well we're getting into a little bit details about valentine's that you're going to find out on the show so send valentine wasn't just one person you may already know that Valentine's Day was named after its patron saint, St. Valentine, but there's actually some confusion surrounding which St. Valentine the holiday technically honors. According to the history, there are at least two men named Valentine that could have inspired the holiday, including one Valentine who was a priest in third century Rome. As the story goes, this Valentine defied Emperor Claudius II's ban on marriage. He thought it was distracted, distracting to young soldiers, illegally marrying couples in the spirit of love until he was caught and sentenced to death. That's one part of the story. Then another legend suggests that the Valentine was killed for attempting to help Christians escape prison in Rome, and that he actually sent the first Valentine message himself while imprisoned, writing a letter signed from your Valentine. So there's a bit of a controversial story about Valentine's Day. I don't know if you guys knew that. Did you actually know there's a controversial story around the actual love day of the year? Do you know of that, course. Bruce? Of course there is. Love is controversy, controversial. Love is hurtful. Love is everything. You know, it's, it's all that. Is it hurtful? That's funny. Yeah, it is. Love's painful at times, you know? Is it? I mean, you know, things go up, things go down. You know, we all, in the, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like things go up, things go down. You know, there's always love, hurt. Very true. Very, very true, Bruce. I cannot agree with you more on that situation of what you just said. But St. Valentine was approximately in 176 Rome. 14th of February, 273, Bishop of Terni and Martyr, according to tradition, he died by beheading a person at 97. So there's a lot of a lot of violence and a lot of like craziness surrounding Valentine's Day. I think that's kind of interesting, right? Like it's a lot of like love and hate combined in one day. That's kind of interesting, Bruce, isn't it? Like, like we said, there's a lot of mixed emotions with love, which is very interesting. But, you know, but Valentine's Day has its roots as an ancient pagan festival as well. It's thought that some historians believe that Valentine's Day commemorates the death of St. Valentine's 
on the February the 14th. Others believe that the holiday actually has its origins in a pagan fertility festival called Lupercalia, which was celebrated on the 15th of February in ancient Rome. So dedicated to Faunus, the Roman god of agriculture and Roman founders Romulus and Remus, the day was celebrated by sacrificing animals and it says this is what it says which i thought was wild it says smacking woman with animal hinds according to what they said which i thought was quite an interesting and a practice that was believed to encourage fertility is that interesting don't you think that's interesting bruce how do you feel about that <laughs> dropping well, that I mean, one on i initially go to the song uh akon smack that when i first hear that and uh, <laughs> yeah, that's not that's not necessarily a good thing but that's where i initially go with that when i hear that yeah it's very interesting like that was the history that's the history behind valentine's day but in the 1300s though bruce this is a bit of a difference it officially became a holiday associated with love so it went from hate fighting to love at the end of the fifth century roman pope galatius officially declared the date of february the 14th saint valentine's day it wasn't until until the middle ages though that the holiday became associated with love and romance a tradition that first started from the common belief in france and england that birds started their mating season on february the 14th i don't know how wow. you feel about that so we are all aligned with the birds mating season <laughs> yeah i mean well birds birds uh what, what is it birds brains aren't fully developed properly or something so birds are a little wild and don't necessarily know what they're doing a lot of the times but i will say this love is an ideal and love is something that we always strive for throughout our lives it's not something we fully attain ideals are intangible so love is something that we have to strive for every day uh, for people that we care about and i have to remind myself that all the time whether it be our our children our loved ones and stuff so it's something we have to kind of push for every day which is important it's very interesting it's very interesting like what do you normally do? so bruce what do you normally do on valentine's day like what do you normally do when you're in a relationship what do you normally go out and do like what's your thing that you like to do for your girl on valentine's day yeah I, i've always seen valentine's day kind of as a hallmark holiday historically it's it's you know that the hallmark card holiday where it's i don't need it one day to to remind the people i care about that i love them any more than another day however I've, I've treated Valentine's Day lately as a day that I tell the people I care about that they mean a lot to me in my life. And that's what I did this year. Um, I called my twin brother and my parents just to remind them that how much they do mean to me in my life. And I called friends that I didn't necessarily touch base with recently that they mean a lot to me in my life. So I did use this day as a day to remind those in my life that they mean something to me. So that's what I did. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Let's find out from our contestants while we see them building their creations. Michelle, can we have a little bit of a look there? What's happening? Because we can't really see. Yeah. But I, see I see a BB there with Ruth. I don't know what's happening with Ruth there. Um, Bones, we see what's happening with Bones. But for you guys, what do you do on Valentine's Day? So I want to know, Ruth, what do you do on Valentine's Day? What do you get up to? Um. I've, I've slept. You, you I had an early night. Yeah, but my Valentine's Day was yesterday. So, um, you know, um, I, do, I basically, you know, obviously, it's a bit, you know, this year I'm a little bit lonely and single. I know, you've had um, some, like I, said, like I said, you've had a lot. Well, don't heart mention his name. Do not mention his name. Um, no, no, yeah, so last night I got an early night ready for today, hopefully to find myself a nice man. No more puppets. No more puppets. No more puppets. You're done with the puppetry. You're no done more. with the puppets. Dating puppets. Dating puppets is out, right? Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. So high All right. What about you? <laughs> what do you do on Valentine's Day, BB? Give us the rundown. What, do you, what have you done in the past? What have I done? Oh my God. Like, totally. Uh, my Valentine's Day is hopping today, and I was hoping that you would be my Valentine. <laughs> Maybe. Hello. Like, hello. What are you doing? <laughs> You mean? What, <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Bones? What do you do on Valentine's Day, Bones? Hey, look, Borat, I'm a bit of a gentleman. I like to take my woman out for dinner, get her some flowers and some chockies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What kind of chocolates? Do you have like a preference on your chocolate picks that you pick out? Oh, it depends on the preference. Last night, I got um, some Ferrero Rochers. Oh, that's a good one. Rochers. Ferrero Rochers are really good. 
But we're going to jump into a little bit more about Valentine's Day. We're going to get deep dive a little bit more. So Cupid has its roots in Greek mythology. So he's the charming cherub that appears on Valentine's Day cards, often depicted with a bow and arrow. But how did Cupid become a common symbol of Valentine's Day? According to time, the figure can actually be traced all the way back to 700 BC to the Greek god of love named Eros, who was actually a handsome, immortal man with the intimidating power to make people fall in love. It wasn't until the 4th century BC that Romans adopted Eros into the image of a cute little boy with a bow and arrow, naming him Cupid. By the turn of the 19th century, Cupid had become linked to Valentine's Day due to his love-matching powers. So that's how Cupid and a little cherub with a little arrow came about. So everyone who just joined into the show, we got six, 17 minutes left on that clock for you guys to build your creations. Make sure you get all your structures together, all your ingredients on top, and make sure everything is stabilized. So they got exactly 16 odd minutes left on the show, Bruce. How do you feel their structures are going at the moment? What do you think? What's happening? What do you think? Yeah, I, I'm watching that cake in the middle down there. I'm, I'm, my mouth's kind of watering looking at that for sure. I'm intrigued by what Bowen says going on with the bread. It looks like he's making some shapes out of the bread. I couldn't see the shells until just now. Oh, oh, those, uh, oh, making some stacks out of the paint. I, I, I called my assistant. I called my assistant. My dress is getting dirty. I'm married. Oh, Michelle slash Ruth, the puppets, making some stacks out of the cakes and waffles. I, I think we're going to have some interesting stuff going on. But, yeah, I'll be curious to see what this all looks like at the end. I'm, I'm keeping my eye on all of them for sure. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be fun to watch. I'm very intrigued. I'm very intrigued to see what they're going to come up with. But we're going to keep talking about Valentine's Day. We're going to keep diving into more things so everyone here can learn a little bit more if they don't know much about certain things about Valentine's Day. So the first Valentine was sent in the 15th century. The oldest record of a Valentine being sent according to history was a poem written by a French medieval duke named Charles to his wife in 1415. Charles penned the sweet note to his lover while he was imprisoned in a tower of London at just 21 years old. One of the lines in the poem said, I am already sick of love, my very gentle Valentine. That was one of the lines that he used in his poem. So a poem was the very first Valentine actual hard kind of evidence of something happening in the 15th century. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, I mean, I actually, it's funny you say that um, when when I actually was in relationships or took the plunge to open my heart to people and open my heart to, to other women, it's and other women, well, to women, I'm not a woman myself, but to women, <laughs> uh, Freudian slip, but uh, I actually open up my heart through love via writings and poetry. And um, so it's it's funny you say that. I, I, I do express myself in poems a lot, and um, I'm not surprised you say that, though. That's interesting. Very interesting. That's actually interesting. That's how, they see, that's how it ties in, everyone. You see how things tie in around Valentine's Day, love, and everything ties in at the end of the day. But the big thing is here, not until the 1840s did we get the first mass-produced Valentine. So people started exchanging cards and handwritten letters to both lovers and friends during the 17th century but it was only in the 1840s that the first people started exchanging cards and handwritten letters so it wasn't really like a period of time until we hit past 17th century into the 1840s of the first valentine's day cards were mass produced in the u.s so the u.s mass produced those valentine's cards sold by esther a howland known as the mother of american valentine howland is credited with commercializing valentine's day cards in america and she's remembered for her elaborate crafty cards made with lace and ribbons so the firstly in the 1840s was the first time those cards blew up in the US. How do you feel about that, Bruce? Like the cards only took off in the 1840s. That's a whole hundred, almost a hundred and something years later. Yeah, I mean, hand, handwritten notes were kind of the way that we, we communicate with each other for a long time, right? I We've gotten so used to just kind of typing and texting nowadays, right? And it's, uh, it's amazing that they, you just threw out there that cards came out, right? I mean, letters were the thing. Um, I remember letters in a bottle just floating down the ocean or the river to communicate, right? I mean, just think about that. that that's amazing just to hear that date, though, in our heads. It's it's very amazing. You know, and also the tradition of giving Valentine's Day flowers that actually date back to the 17th century. So giving red roses may be an obvious romantic gesture today, but it wasn't until the late 17th century that giving flowers became a popular custom. In the fact, the practice can be traced back to when King Charles II of Sweden learned the language of flowers, which pairs different flowers with specific meanings. On a trip to Persia, 
and subsequently introduced the tradition to Europe. The act of giving flowers then became a popular trend during the Victorian era, including on Valentine's Day with red roses symbolizing love. Mm. So that's where flowers came from for Valentine's Day. Isn't that a, this is very interesting. It's very interesting how all these things panned out across a period of time. But for everyone who just joined into the show, welcome to Borat's Chaos Kitchen. I'm your host, Chef Borat. This is my judge, Bruce Wayne. These are my contestants, Ruth, aka Michelle Marbell, Abibi, and Bones. Please make sure you do hit them with that important favorite. All gifts are welcomed and appreciated during the show. Remember, the top gifter of the show does have a special power that could potentially save and protect one of these contestants or specifically also challenge our judges' decisions. So stick around and find out to see what happens on the show. So, Bruce. We're going to talk a little bit more about Valentine's Day before we get to those crazy, funny questions that we're going to ask everyone in here. Nearly 250 million roses are grown in preparation for Valentine's Day each year. There is a science to ensuring that there are enough fresh roses to go around when it comes to the 14th of February. In fact, to provide flowers for the holiday countries, including Ecuador, Kenya or Colombia ship roses to the U.S. since they do not grow in the colder temperatures that you experience in February in the U.S. So, did you know actually sending roses from other parts of the world to the U.S.? Uh, Kenya was uh, the country that surprised me the most there, I think. Um, but I, I'm not surprised that we have to outsource the growth of the roses. I, I actually, tulip's my favorite flower, oddly enough. I, I didn't send roses during Valentine's Day. I picked tulip because I think I like the look of them the most. But roses, does that doesn't surprise me that those are outsourced throughout the world. Yeah, it's very interesting, very interesting. So the, the color of the flower given on Valentine's that also holds a meaning. Red roses traditionally symbolize love. Other colors like deep pink, purple or white symbolize happiness royalty sympathy respectfully and also may be given on the holiday as well so not only red roses are given also other colored roses are also given on that day also americans on this day send 145 million valentine's day cards each year put that in perspective 145 million paper cards are sent around the just the us in one year on valentine's day isn't that wild yeah and uh my my lovely parents sent me a valentine's day card this year like they do every other year which is pretty incredible that they do that they sent me a nice little valentine's day basket and a card so i was pretty happy to see that this morning that's awesome that's awesome so contestants you got nine minutes and four seconds left on the clock make sure those ingredients are all there make sure those structures are structurally stable and all your ingredients and your creativity is on those structures they've got eight minutes and 53 seconds counting down before the squeaker sounds so bruce we're going to talk about a little bit about candy candy is the most popular gift to give on valentine's day according to the national retail federation most people will give candy and greeting cards to their loved ones although many will also spend money on flowers gift cards and clothing but the biggest expenses are jewelry and activities Americans plan to spend more than $5.5 billion on jewelry and nearly $4.4 billion on a special evening out. So they spend five, just $5.5 billion on just jewelry and $4.4 on actually going out to eat. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. Yeah, I'm, uh, I would have thought um, the most is spent on gifts, uh, jewelry, etc., for their loved one. Um, but what, what did you say the cost of... Um, chocolates and stuff what was the cost of chocolates and candies? So it, it said that it said that according to the so not, most money gets spent on flowers gift cards and clothing so not candy okay. candy's not this yeah, candy's yeah. the most common gift to give but most yeah. get americans spend 5.5 billion on jewelry and 4.4 billion on a special evening out for dinner oh interesting yeah and also it's kind of interesting because like you know Bro, we're talking where's, about my jewelry? <laughs> where's your jewelry <laughs> baby that's why <laughs> <laughs> Where is our baby's jewelry, people? It's supposed to be on the date. <laughs> <laughs> this is a date. Hey, Bora. Yes? Sorry to interrupt, Bora. Will you let me know when you've got like four minutes or something? Like yes, to the seven minutes and 20 right, seconds okay. left on the clock. But I'm going to tell you also, guys. How much time? Seven minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. 7.20. 7 okay. minutes 20. All right. So the first heart-shaped box of chocolates was introduced in 1861. It was created by Richard Cadbury, son of Cadbury founder John Cadbury, 
who started packing chocolates in fancy boxes to increase sales. He introduced the first heart-shaped box of chocolates for Valentine's Day in 1861. And today, more than 36 million heart-shaped boxes of chocolate are sold each year. That's 58 million pounds of chocolate. So like Cadbury eggs? Is that what the personal Cadbury no, no, no. eggs? This was a heart-shaped Cadbury box. You know oh, the ones I you know see that are the heart shaped? Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah. Yes, those are the ones that sell out the most during Valentine's Day. But I found also this was another interesting stat. More than 8 million conversation hearts are manufactured each year. And Nico is to make them all year round. Each box is approximately 45 cents and calling true love, hug me and you rock. You know those hearts? Those heart mm -hmm. things? So yeah. four, 8 billion of them are, are actually made around each year for Valentine's Day. That's a lot. That's awesome. Cool. That's crazy, right? Yeah, that's really crazy. That is crazy. So everyone who just joined into the show, they're building the tallest, most creative Valentine's Day themed creation. This is my judge, Bruce Wayne. These are my contestants, Ruth as Michelle Marbell, Abibi, and Bones. Please make sure you do hit them that important favorite. All gifts are welcomed and appreciated during the show. Remember, the top gifter of the show does have a special power that could potentially save or protect the contestants or challenge the judge. So stick around to find out after Bruce's decision. There'll be a three minute timer for that to happen so bruce how do you feel about their structures so far looking what's happening how do you feel about it? and they got five minutes and 33 seconds on the clock yeah bones is spelling something i don't know if this is a love note to somebody or something i, I don't know i mean i'll be interested to see what it says for sure uh that cake's looking even better now from what i can see it's it's definitely pretty uh, i think it's it's well done so far from what i can tell and Ruth slash Michelle's got gnomes or something going on top of there. I, I don't know what's going on, but it's getting interesting. It's definitely, it's definitely, the tallest, it's definitely the tallest thing going on right now, for sure. It's getting very interesting. It's getting very interesting. But we're going to throw out some questions, Bruce. We've got lovely questions to ask everyone in here today. So what Valentine's message can you find in a honeycomb? They want to know the answer to this riddle. What Valentine's message can you find in a honeycomb? Anyone have an idea for the answer for that riddle? What Valentine's message can you find in a honeycomb? Be mine. Bruce, well done. He hit it on the head. That's right. That's the correct answer. Be mine. Well done, Bruce. You hit that one straight on the head. That was very good. Well done. So we've got a few more to go through. A few more of these interesting questions. <laughs> That was crazy. What did the love obsessed candle say when it was lit? What did the love obsessed candle say when it was lit? <clears throat> Think about it, candle. Think about it, people. What did the love obsessed candle say when it was lit? You light me up. I see that in the comments. Anyone have ideas? Any ideas? Nobody in the comments, no one in the box, no one has an idea. What did the love obsessed candle say when it was lit? You light up my life. <laughs> you light up my life. No, that's not right. The actual answer is I found the perfect match. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. I found the perfect match. Oh, <laughs> I like it. I like it. That was my one's better. That's crazy, Tatsu. I saw that comment. That was crazy. Look, we got a few more to go through. A few more questions for you guys. Let's see if you can hit these ones down. Why did the magnet hit on the refrigerator? Why did the magnet hit on the refrigerator? Anybody know the answer? Why did the magnet hit on the refrigerator? Bruce is thinking. Because he's thinking. Anyone in know in the comments? Anyone going to give it a crack? Why did the magnet hit on the refrigerator? Attachment issues. It was attracted to it. Batman's, that was very, very close. It felt a connection. Opposites attract. The actual answer is he found her to be very attractive. <laughs> Because you know how magnets, opposites attract? That's what Tom was getting close. I saw Tom got very close to that one. And I also saw um batman got very close to that one as well but we got one more riddle for you to solve we got two minutes and 17 seconds on the clock why didn't the two dogs make serious valentine's day plans why didn't the two dogs make serious valentine's day plans anyone know why 
think about it. This is a bit of a trick question. Why didn't the two dogs make serious Valentine's Day plans? It wasn't. <laughs> that is crazy. That comment is wild. <laughs> we got one minute and 46 seconds on the clock. Why didn't the two dogs make serious Valentine's Day plans? Anyone have ideas? No money? <laughs> The actual answer is it was just puppy love. It was just puppy love. You know what I mean? That's why they didn't make serious Valentine's Day plans. So nothing serious. It was just puppy love. Yeah. That's right. There is one minute and 20 seconds left on the clock, contestants. Make sure you have all those creations structurally sound. Make sure all your ingredients are ready to roll. And we're going to get those measurements very soon to see how tall those structures are. So make sure you have your tape measure or your measuring tool ready to go so bruce they got one minute on the clock before my loversaurus squeaks and they have to stop their creations and step away and whatever happens happens to their creation so let's see bruce let's see who's going to stand the test of time i'm intrigued to see what is happening with bones i'm intrigued to see what's happening with bb and ruth as in michelle my belt so we're going to count down the last 46 seconds on that clock contest His last 46 seconds are counting down so bruce yeah. get ready to rumble because you got to judge them like you've never judged them before <laughs> I, I am judging as hard as I can judge right now. Uh, I, this, I'm doing my very best right now, Borat. I'm, I'm distracted by a lot of stuff going on in the comments. I'm distracted by the sauce that Bones is about to throw on his stuff. I don't know how he's going to stack everything up. Um, and, you know, the cake is looking delicious, and Michelle's just keeps on climbing. So, right, we got 10 seconds on the clock, contestants. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Step away from your structure. Oh, it could be my new pole. Oh, that is wild, yo. That is wild. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the show. Welcome to Borat's Chaos Kitchen. I'm your host, Chef Borat. This is my judge, Bruce Wayne. These are my contestants, Michelle Mobile. Okay, Ruth. A BB and Bones, please make sure you do them with an important favorite. All gifts are welcomed and appreciated during the show. Remember, the top gift of the show does have a special power that could potentially save or protect one of these contestants or challenge the judge. So stick around to find out to see okay. what happens. So Bruce, let's jump to each contestant. Let's see what they made. Let us give them a tour. So we'll start off with Bones. Bones, give us a tour of your structure. What is happening there and the height? All right. Well, it may not be the highest structure, but my love is endless for this person and I want to uh, escape the doghouse. So <laughs> how do I, there we go. This is just for you. My love is endless for you, my friend. I love Queen. Wild. I am done. Yeah, that's wild, oh, guys. That's crazy. All right, I'm what's the height on it? Can we get a height? Can we get some type of height on it? Just there should be some type of height. Oh, no, what do we got for height? Um, half an inch. Two centimeters. Think, two no. centimeters. It's about a not. It's about an inch, right? Oh yeah, about an inch. We'll go with that. Half so an we inch. got we got a one inch. We <laughs> <laughs> like it small, right? <laughs> All right, we're going to move one inch. A baby, give us a tour of your structure. Let's have a look what you created and how yeah. tall it is. So super exciting. Um, it's actually. Uh, let me just see here. It's pretty much made of decadent chocolate cake. Um, it's, I believe, four layers, four or five layers, and it's got the candy on top, and it's got the real heart to tell you that I love you, Borat. Thank you. It's got <laughs> yeah, chocolate yeah. covered around it uh, on the side, and chocolate, I mean, and some candies. So it also has pastry fried, which is pretty much like, tastes like whipped cream, so it's not so sweet. So yeah, yeah, here you go, guys. How tall right. is your structure, baby? Do you know how tall it is? Can you give us a height? You know, I'm not I'm not about the size, so I think it's only about two inches. 
Um, uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, anyways, so I was, I, I believe, I believe it's the tallest Borat. Can we just, can we just call this the tallest? I work really hard for it. <laughs> can we, can we get a knife? Can you put like a 30 centimeter knife next to this? Do you have a 30 centimeter oh, knife? I mean, you know, it's, hey, Borat, this is beating for you, baby. <laughs> oh, you need a knife? Damn, oh, I need it. Hold on, let me go. <laughs> it's beating for me. It's yeah. wild. Wild. <laughs> Wait, where did she go? What happened, yeah. baby? What happened? Where did she go? I don't know. We gotta get a knife. <laughs> oh, I think it's like 10 inches, y'all. This is 10 inches. Oh, this I is easy say, 10 inches, right? I reckon it is Yo. around 10 there. Yeah, I reckon. I mean, I'll be like Close four inches, but you know, if y'all want to go 10, I'm good with it. I think you about 10 inches, nine point something there. I reckon she's got an nine inch point. wise there. All right, y'all, nine Kudos to get a nine point. Sheesh. 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 All right, oh, now Michelle, yeah. give us a tour of your structure there. Let's have a look at your structure. Well, it, um, you know, mine melted by the time you got to me, so it kind of fell off. But, 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 just to just show everybody, this is what it would have looked like if it didn't melt. Okay. Oh, but it's melting. <laughs> it's very erect. I like it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah. That's what it would have been like, but it fell over. All right, all right. Can we can we get the height okay. without the cone? Can you get the height without the cone so we can work what there is there? Yep. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's not very cool. What's the height there without the cone? Let's have a look. Hold on. Let's find out. Oh, <laughs> Papa tree is falling all over. It's Papa gone wild. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's not very high. Oh, so can you get it out? It's basically, it's basically, it's not the highest. Let's just say that. Let's just say that it's not the highest. I would at all. say that's about eight inches high. I reckon about eight inches or seven inches high there. Looking at it, seven yeah. to eight inches, I would say. Your structure is about seven to eight inches. So, Bruce, let's jump to the judgment process. We're going to jump to the judgment process, right? So, we've got um, the height, the creativity, the ingredients, and the stability. So, starting with height for Bones, what are you going to give him out of 10? He has the shortest Ooh. height. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, height for <laughs> Bones. Well, it's probably about a two. A two for his I'll height? And for a baby's height, yeah, I gotta, I gotta go with the full ten points there, right? I full mean, ten points for a baby's height. And, well done. And what about Michelle? My... What about Michelle Marbell as Ruth? Her height? Um, probably about a six. A six. All Gosh. right. Now we're going to go through the ingredients. So, contestants, you can recap the ingredients for Bruce to remind what ingredients you use. So, Michelle, what ingredients did you use? Let Bruce know. I used um, four cornettos, um, chocolate, um, pancakes, waffles, um, yeah, chocolate cornettos. But I, I, I got them out too early, you see, so it melted. Otherwise, I would have been in the queue. I would, I would have got it if I just let them free for like, if I didn't get them. Like, got them out last second. All right. So, out of ten, what are you going to give her for mm. your ingredients, Bruce? Uh, ingredients, I'll give her a seven. A seven for her ingredients. And a BB, could you recap your ingredients for us again? Yeah, absolutely. So I have um, chocolate cake and um, white cake with pastry fried, which is like whipped cream and um, red uh, uh, color food coloring with uh, candy, um, chocolate covered gummy bears and um, heart cake candies and... All right, so Bruce, what are you gonna give him, give a uh, baby out of 10 for her ingredients? Um, I'll give her an eight for ingredients. And eight for the ingredients. And what about bones with his ingredients? He has ketchup and bread. Hey, look, I uh, I think I can speak for myself there, Borat. Do you want to do you want to get the pen and paper out, Bruce? <laughs> <laughs> so, Bruce, what are you going to give him on his ingredients? On his two ingredients. 
got a do he got a two for height. I think for the ingredients, we'll give him a two for ingredients as well. Oh, two for ingredients as well. That. Awesome. So now we're gonna go to the structural stability of their structures. So starting off with Michelle's out of 10, what are you gonna give her for her stability? Let's uh, play. For stability, it, it did fall over. Um crushing in the middle i'll give i'll give a four for stability a four for stability and what about a baby structure for her stability um probably one of the more sound stability structures i've seen on the show so far uh, I, i'm gonna give a nine for stability a nine for stability and for bones stability of his structure this is rock solid all right the heart is rock solid <laughs> Well, <laughs> piece is on its own, so I don't. I, it's not really a structure, um, so I don't know what to say there. Uh, I'll give it a two. A two. <laughs> He's got a two. He's in lined up. <laughs> and now we're gonna jump to the creativity part of their structures. This is where they could get more points for their creativity. So we'll start off with bones this time. I'd have ten for his creativity. I do. I do think the creativity side came out. He wrote a love note with food which is pretty incredible. I'm going to give them a nine on creativity. Yes. Nine for creativity. And for a baby on her creativity out of 10. Yeah. I, I, with all the ingredients given and the time amount that she was given and what she created, I'm going to give a 10 on creativity. 10 on creativity. And for Michelle on her creativity. With, yeah, with the waffles and the pancakes and the ice cream and stuff, I'm going to give an eight on creativity. An eight. So let's do a quick score count. While I do the quick score count, you can talk to the judge and say what you think about your judging scores. So anyone in the in the box, you can talk to the judge and say what you think while I quickly add up these scores. We're going to see what's happening. Yeah, I just thing. love Lane. I, sh I wish he gave me all tens. That's it. Thank you, Lane. I love you. Yeah, I'd like to <laughs> count on the stability. Hold on, Wait, hold on. Do have you fav Let me favor him real quick. 25 times. There you go. I, I feel like this is right. a very stable yeah. relationship. <laughs> We're getting real stable. All right. So this is the situation, right? We've got a baby in the lead on 37 points. We have Michelle Marbell on 25 points and Bones on 15 points. But Here's the twist. We have three minutes on the clock. If you want to be the top gifter of the show and potentially save or protect one of these contestants, you want to save a BB and keep a BB as the winner or challenge the judge or protect or save one of these contestants, this is your opportunity now or forever hold your peace. So we'll start the three-minute timer now. So this is the three-minute timer on the show. So let's see what happens. If anyone here wants to save or protect one of these contestants, We'll see what happens. So, Bruce, let's see who's willing to challenge your decision. If anyone feels that it wasn't the right decision, they have an opportunity to challenge you now. So there's two minutes and 45 seconds on that clock to be the top gifter of the stream and potentially oh, save or protect one of these contestants. So the time is on the clock. The We've got two minutes and 34 seconds as we do on the show. So let's see what happens. Michelle's working her poll. Come on, protect her poll, guys. So Ruth is working the poll over there really badly. <laughs> so we've got two minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. Abibi, how are you feeling with those numbers counting? What? Both. We've got two minutes and 13 seconds for anyone to be the top gifter of the show and potentially save or protect one of these contestants, including yourself, potentially saving you. What are you going to say right now? We've got the time on the clock. You I never know really what's going to happen. I feel like I'm going to lose. <laughs> oh my god. I'm totally Let's nervous. see what happens. Let's I'm see what totally happens. Nervous that, you know, I'm just gonna lose. That's all. <laughs> you never know what's gonna happen on this show. You never know what's gonna Honestly, happen. I had a lonely Valentine's Day, and if really someone's gonna be petty right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I quit. Hey! You play zombies. Anybody play zombies? And you're like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> we got one minute and twenty. Oh, cuddle. Cuddle. Oh yeah. Wow. You got cuddle. one minute and thirteen seconds on that clock to be the top gifter of the show and potentially no. save. Or protect one of these contestants or challenge Bruce Wayne. Who's got the hey, guts to come? Somebody add to Wes Waldo real quick. Hey, someone call Waldo for me. 
Go call Waldo for me. Hey, yo, call Waldo for me real quick. Come on. I swear I guess, to God. I just did a DM money. Oh, no, no, no. I think he's busy. Oh, my God. <laughs> you never know <laughs> what's going to happen on this show, guys. You never know what's going to happen. You know, we've got 40 seconds, 45 seconds left. On that clock, anything can happen. If you see some ghetto snipes, oh, some crazy man. things happen on the show, you just never know what's going to happen on yeah, the show, guys. You I'm never know. Win. There's oh. 34 seconds left on that clock to be the top gifter of the show. You got 26 seconds left on that clock counting down guys so time is coming down very very soon if you want to save or protect one of these contests or challenge bruce we'll find out what happens there's 15 seconds left on that clock counting down nine eight seven six five the snipe is crazy two one and stop Whoa, 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 there's a lot crazy. happening, there's a lot happening, yo, wait, let's just let it, let it all just pan out for a second, oh, watch the mother, so we have night. Joe as the top gifter, King Daddy Joe is the top gifter of the show at the moment, so Bruce, this comes down to you, this is your power in the show, as we all know, do you want to match what Joe's put up and stop him from getting in that box, or what, what happened to, um, a baby, a baby, come back, <laughs> I lost the baby, a baby, come back, where is the baby go? <laughs> yo, where did the baby go? Yo? Baby so Bruce, back. this is your decision. Do you want to stop Joe from getting in that box and changing your decision, or do you want to let him in? Um, I, I do not intend on matching him. Um, I think BB should have won, but. Aww. All right. So you want him to come in the box? You sure about that decision? Sure. All right. So Joe, request the box. You're now going to have your say on these three contestants. So this could get interesting, everyone. This could get wait in the box, Bruce, while I swap out you for the other, for our top gifter, who's going to come in and make their judgment and vote on each contestant. I'm so, right now. Pause. This could be interesting. Oh, All right, Bruce, let's find out what's going to happen. Joe, welcome to the show. Remember, it's a featured show. No swearing, drinking, or smoking on the show. Right. So we've got three amazing contestants here. Um, looking at their creations, what do you think? What do you think? What is your opinion right now? And what are you going to say? Okay, so I didn't actually watch any of the show. So <laughs> this is wild. Not even a little bit. <laughs> so I will, I will default back. Uh, who was that in the box? Who was the judge there, Mr. That Wayne? That was Bruce. That was Bruce Wayne, correct? Mr. Wayne will default back to Mr. Wayne. Everybody have a great night. Thank you, okay, oh, Joe. So oh Bruce Wayne's a decision stand. Wait, Joe. Oh my gosh, King Daddy, you were too bad. Baby, you won my show, baby. Oh. Well done on my show. Oh my show. gosh, King Daddy. Well done, oh my gosh, you are such a king. Well done. Well done. Oh well done. my gosh, Bruce, King Daddy. request the box, please. Come back in. Well done, a baby, on your win. How do you feel? Um, I feel so special right now because I was really lonely today, and I'm so happy that I actually have a King Daddy now and a bruce wayne and um my real one top badge for it to be honest with you i feel really good because borat um i've been in a show a couple of times and i actually was prepared to actually you know do um a better job this time so i appreciate y'all that's um, awesome thanks to sir. Thanks to sir. baby you're, thanks to sir. Thanks to sir. you're in my tournament uh, a lot of people in my tournament, so when I do my tournament, you are one of the people in there, and I will let you know when that's going to be, and it's going to be head-to-head. -head. You're going to compete against all the other contestants. We have Truly oh in there. God. We have Missy, Porgy. We have a whole lot of people in there, so it's going to be very interesting to see what's going to happen in that tournament. So that's going to be very interesting. So if you just join into the show, welcome to Borat's Chaos Kitchen. I'm your host, Chef Borat. This is my judge, Bruce Wayne. These are my contestants, Bones, Abibi, and Ruth as Michelle Marbell. Please make sure you do hit them with an important favorite or gifts are welcomed and appreciated during the show. Remember, the show will be uploaded to YouTube, so all the craziness of the show will go on.
YouTube and you will see everything that happened during the show and all the crazy outcomes of these creations. So you can check that, click it on my bio at the bottom, subscribe, it's free and you can check every show every week. I do have a battle coming up on the 16th of February, which is this Friday at 7, 10 p.m. Eastern time. I'd appreciate all the support in here. I'm up against Cloud9, so I would love to see you guys pull up in here and you know, if you could support whatever you can, being in the comments, doing whatever you can, I'd appreciate that a lot. But I think we have still about nine minutes left of the show before we can go into the swearing and cussing. We are still featured. So, Bruce, what do you think of the structures? What do you think of they, what they brought to the show today? What do you think of the outcome? Yeah, I think this is a really fun show. I, I, I'm, I hope everyone had fun in the comments, and I hope everyone had fun as contestants. This was this was fun banter. This was I loved all the the fun history you gave from the Valentine's Day perspective. Um, and just the amount of uh, the unique ingredients and the structures that we saw and all the, the different things that people made were, were really intriguing. I appreciate you guys for participating and everybody that watched in the comments. This was this was fun, to say the least. Like I said, I enjoyed doing the show every week. We pulled a show together. Like I said, we had two contestants or two participants that had their accounts banned or had issues that they're still working on. So this show was literally put together within a couple of hours. So some of the, except two contestants, which was Michelle and a baby. So we managed to pull a show together, which is crazy because this show has been running for about 10 months plus. We've only had one canceled show during the split. And it's, it's, it's amazing that you guys all pull up and support the show. It's, it's a great show. I enjoy doing it every week and it's my highlight of the week. And I'm sure you guys in here enjoy it as well. But next week's show, I do have popular brunette as my judge on next week's show. I will let you guys know on Instagram what the theme will be for next week. So if you do want to hit me up and be on the show, make sure you hit me on the DMs on IG and I can see if I can have you on the show next week. So we will have popular brunette where Bruce Wayne was in the box next week with a crazy challenge. So stick around to find out in the coming days what that's going to be. I'm going to set something a little bit crazy, I think, for next week's show. It's going to be very interesting. So, Abibi, uh, Michelle, and Bones, anything else you want to say to anyone in here? Look, I decided that um, I'd start eating this note so it can go straight to my heart, all right? <laughs> <laughs> wait, you're going to start. Wait. Hey, um, it's a lot of pressure. I don't know if I want to be in that other tournament because, like, well, I well, I'm going to say a BB. Well, I'm going to say a BB. Yo, the pressure game is on, though. Try me. You know well, I'm going to say is guess who's in that tournament? Tanny is in there as well. Oh, oh, Tanny's at nothing on me, please. <laughs> hey, y'all start banning her quick. Hey, kick her, ban her, I don't know, do report her multiple times. Yeah, Tanny. <laughs> I'm not worried about Tanny. Mm, not at all. We got <laughs> Truly in there. We got a lot of different people that you're going to be up against. Oh, in no, that's, that's a lot of pressure. That's a lot of pressure. I think I'll delete. Oh, never mind. Nothing. Um, I think I'll delete. <laughs> <a lot. laughs> we got five minutes still on the feature so be on your best behavior everyone before we can get into the after show so bones you were going to say something you got to get, you get all the food that's straight to your heart and you're feeling loved you're feeling special by queen um look i've checked the responses out and um i might have to try a little bit harder <laughs> i might have to add some meat in there next time <laughs> meat in there that's crazy the love is not reciprocated that's crazy <laughs> I thought that was really crazy the fact he did that whole message thing. I did not see that coming at all. That's funny. I like that. That was hilarious. On the spot, you know, last minute. But a BB, can do you want to take a bite of your structure? I feel like you, you want to really eat that. It looks really good. <laughs> I'm actually giving it for someone who's gonna be my Valentine's Day tonight. It's only eleven Pacific Ah, oh, I see what you're doing it. Hey, where are we going? <laughs> no, <laughs> you <want> to <laughs> We're playing with you. this. I see what you're doing, baby. I see what you're doing there. You're saving and protecting for your love of your life tonight, right? Yeah. Where did, yeah. Where did Michelle go? Did she just? Um, all right, it was you. No, I'm here. I'm here. Okay. I just watched the whole. You know, you're Wait, gonna what, fly, what, what, down yeah. fly you down to have a deal. Fly you down to have a deal, baby. What? You said fly me down. Is that what you said? No, you flying me out. What are you talking about? Cuddles is flying me out too. I thought you said, I didn't hear that. You said fly me out. Is that what you said? Like, yeah. Um, oh, Bruce. so I'm, no, okay. I meant to say, I apologize for it. I meant to say, like, I'm really saying this to someone. You know, uh, Ruth, Ruth. Uh, okay, baby. Ruth, where's your bubble at? Oh, you had some bubbles. What happened to your bubbles, Ruth? Yeah. I hear something happening. 
She had some bubbles. She's got some bubbles for Valentine's Day, everyone. She's got the bubbles going there. Oh, that that puppet is, is oh. lit there. That puppet is wilding with bubbles. <laughs> The bubbles are her Valentine, right? Is that right, Ruth? Yeah. But that's the way. How do you feel about those bubbles being your Valentine? Yeah, that was my bubbles. I love my bubbles. That's crazy. There's four minutes left. Yeah, till no. we off four minutes till we off feature. We move to the after show, everyone. So, like I said, welcome to Borat's Chaos Kitchen. I'm your host, Chef Borat. This is my judge, Bruce Wayne. These are my contestants, Bones, Abibi, and Michelle Marbell. Please make sure you do hit them with that important favorite. All gifts are welcomed and appreciated during the show. It's a crazy show. We had a good time here. Happy Valentine's Day again to everyone out on the Meet Me streets. And I hope you all have an amazing Valentine's Day or still having one because I know in the West Coast, you guys still had a bit of Valentine's Day happening there. So, I appreciate you all pulling up into the show. Michelle, Ruth, where have you gone, Ruth? What happened? Thanks. <laughs> so, Bruce, it's, it's a crazy show. I enjoyed that. It was a lot of fun, a lot of craziness. We learned a lot about Valentine's Day. You know, this show is always, you know, learning different things. And I'm sure everyone here took something away from the show. They learned something different that they didn't know about Valentine's Day. And like I say, Valentine's Day is only comes once every single year. And, you know, it's something special to have a show like this on Valentine's Day, which fell out on Valentine's Day, which is very rare. So I enjoy it. Sorry, my phone is wet. Oh, well, Ruth, stop wetting your phone with bubbles. Your love of your life can't make you wet on your phone. Is crazy. No, are we still featured? We are still featured. We got three uh, minutes on the clock. Oh, baby wants to say something. A baby wants to say something really no, wild. He's no, holding it back. I'm, I'm out. It's all about I'm those She's yeah, holding it back. There was something coming through there. She was going to say something. She's like, I got to hold back. I got to hold that back. <laughs> yo, um, yo, cheers. Shout out to y'all. Hey, it's all that's awesome. So we got two minutes left of the feature. Like I said, if you just missed the show, if you just joined in, it will be uploaded to YouTube. So you'll be able to catch up on my show every week. I am behind on one episode, which I will be uploading tomorrow. I've just got to backtrack one episode and put both of them up tomorrow. So we will be doing that. Like I said, I do have my battle on the 16th of February at 7, 10 p.m. Eastern time. And I appreciate all the support I could get in here. Like I said, all the love and support being in the comments, by my emoji being here because it is a big battle for me coming up this week in terms of Friday. So Man, it's uh, for, for Aussies, it'll be at 11, 10 a.m., 17th of February, Saturday morning. For Americans at Eastern Time, 7, 10 p.m., Friday night. So I'd appreciate all that support in here. It's going to get crazy. So let's see what happens. But we got one minute left till we off the feature, everyone. So then we can go a bit wild and go into the after show. And BB can say what's on her mind. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what's holding in her mind. That's what I want to know. I want to know what's nothing, up in her head. Nothing, nothing at all. I was going to ask you a question, but I think that, um, what if, like, what if people, like, really hate you? What happens in battles? Like, what if they just hate you, Borat? Do people that hate you shoot for you or against you? Sometimes, sometimes people are fickle. Sometimes people are fickle, baby. I can say some people will like to, you know, change their mind on the last second. They might gets you know they might see something and change their mind you just never know what happens but yeah i do have haters everyone has haters everyone has haters and at the end of the day you know haters are there for a reason because you're doing something right so you know if you don't have your haters you're not doing something right on the app so we got exactly one minute left to the feature so we're going to go off feature very very soon you can then drink smoke and cuss very soon so we can get into that <laughs> very very soon when are you all holding back on stuff i don't know baby wants to hold back that she's doing her best <laughs> <laughs> oh, I All right. We are now um, off feature. Though. We're now off feature. So welcome to Borat's Chaos Kitchen after show where you can drink, swear, cuss, yeah, and smoke. Yeah. We are now officially off feature. <laughs> Look, I can still taste you around Yo. my lips. <laughs> okay, so wait, what happened? Thank you, Borat. <laughs> welcome, Bruce. That was a lot of fun. Thank you for stepping up and coming nice here today. I appreciate you. that. Nice to meet you. Awesome. Eight, uh, Awesome. And BB, what was on your mind to BB? Tell us. Oh, nothing at all. Thank know. you, Bruce. Borat, yeah. thank you so much for having me. A BB, well, congratulations. Well done. Well done, a BB. Thank you, Bruce. Well See you later, Bruce. Thank you for being the uh, judge. Good to meet you, buddy. That was awesome, guys. Well done on the show. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. Everyone did an amazing job. That was a lot of fun. And BB, the winner of my show, finally. 
This is awesome. So I'm going to have you definitely back. I'm going to put you in my little list here to make sure I remember which show you want.